Let me introduce everyone to Kenzie Fisher. She works at Digital Domain and is currently driving a DigiDug. In fact, let's show you live behind the scenes of how we do this. Check us out. As you can see, both Doug and Kenzie are wearing accents, motion capture suits, and mannus gloves. And we're using Akinema to solve the body motion in Unreal Engine. Yeah, and for facial capture, I've got a single camera on the Fox Labs helmet camera system, and Kenzie and I both have computers with NVIDIA graphics cards in them that are running our facial solver named Masquerade Live. And I have a computer running Unreal for my VR headset, and we have another machine that's generating the high-quality audience display. You know, one really cool thing we've developed is both Doug and Kenzie have a view into our virtual world, which helps to guide them while they're being captured. Hi, Darren. We both can see you. See this LCD display? It's our VR view into the unreal world through a character's perspective. Yeah, and this VR view has really changed how we interact virtually. I can make eye contact with you. I can move around you. I can see what you're doing. It makes it fun. You know, we've worked on replicating feature film quality characters down to the finest detail, but running in real time. Yeah, feature film. All the greats. Hit. Clooney. <laughs> Robo? <laughs> Here, let me show you what it takes to create a digital character like this. We went to DI40 and ICT to capture high resolution data from multiple expressions down to the poor level detail. We even captured the way light interacts with Doug's face and used it in a real time engine. Yeah, and I did a ton of motion capture to generate all the training data that we needed. Even we used our proprietary grooming software, Samson, to groom each and every one of the hairs on my head. Check it out. But hold on, Doug's hair is so boring. <laughs> Look at me, check out this hair. Wow, all right. <laughs> now that is an awesome hairstyle. That's and as you can see, we can instantly switch to any character in our framework. Kenzie is now driving a character we call Elbor. Yeah, and through my VR view, I can still see both of you. You look so tall! I am! <laughs> Once we created great looking characters, we needed to make them move. So we used machine learning techniques to convert digital domain spatial pipeline to run in real time. Yeah, this is real time live, not offline live. The computer needs to learn how the face works. <laughs> yeah, and once Masquerade Live is trained, it runs wicked fast. Kenzie and I, our faces are being animated at over 60 frames a second, with only about a sixth of a second lag. And the amount of data, the data footprint that we have, is so small that we could be talking to you from anywhere, even a different country. Totally. Well, this system doesn't rely on the traditional way of driving faces using face shapes. Instead, it is trained on lots of real facial performance data, which allows it to easily transition to any expression and is not limited by any facial rig. Yeah, once the data is captured, the neural network can be trained in the time it takes to get from Santa Monica to Pasadena on a Thursday evening. <laughs> yes, and the neural network learns everything about my face, even my blood flow. Yeah, the neural network is driving everything that moves in the face, from the eyelashes <laughs> and the eyebrows, to the pore structures and wrinkles, and even the blood flow moving under the skin. Let's go ahead and actually enhance the blood flow so you actually can see how it's activating. But hold on a second. I didn't have to go through all that to be able to drive this system. But once the system has been trained so that it understands how one face moves, it only takes about a sequence of images to automatically let someone else drive an existing character. Yeah, all I had to do was put a helmet on and make faces for a couple of minutes. Yeah. And the cool thing is you can really see Kenzie's performance coming through on the character that she's driving. Hey, you know, I want to be able more too. Wow, the world looks so different from this perspective. Pick me up. Pick no, me pick up. me up. <laughs> you know, all this research into digital humans has been super exciting. But the implications of this technology can be a little scary at times. We're doing things with machine learning we never thought possible, and all running in real time. 
But if there's one key thing we've learned from all of that, it's that machine learning is never going to be able to compete with those dance moves. Thank you very much.